Hello everyone, Call Around Awake here, and today I'm back with another Pixel Gun 3D video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the top four most overused weapons in Pixel Gun 3D. Now, these weapons are pretty much always used just to get good gameplay in Pixel Gun 3D. Like, these weapons, I, I, for me, I see these weapons, like, used the most out of any weapon in Pixel Gun 3D. So, and that's pretty much all I have to say for the intro. Let's get on to today's video. Now, the first weapon on this list, all weapons that slow you down, like the Castle over the Black Marble, Nail Minigun, Freedom Rifle, you name it. Now, these weapons, um, for, if, if someone is using a primary weapon in Pixel Gun 3D, these are the weapons I always see people use, sold out weapons. They always use either the Casanova or the Black Mamba. These are the weapons I usually hate the most out of any primary weapon in the game because, you know, they always affect your movement. It's super annoying. So, um, yeah, the Casanova, Black Mamba are definitely the most overused primary weapons, like, the only other primary weapon I see people use is the minigun shotgun. I think it's also probably the best primary in the game, just because it is a shotgun and a minigun. But uh, these these slowdown weapons usually take up slots of what people use in the game. You know, for the nail miniguns in the special section, people use that thing. There may be a few other weapons in the special section, and that's pretty much it. But uh, yeah, I always see people in dual mode and in death, but always people seeing people using this weapon, the Casanova or the Black Mamba, and I always see people using this weapon. I don't know why. But, uh, yeah, people just always like to get good gameplay in this game. And, honestly, this is a weapon I probably need to hate the most out of any gun in this game. Just because it slows people down. It's so annoying. You guys all know how annoying that is. But, uh, also, you guys don't know the Casanova does slow you down. I did a few videos saying that the Casanova does slow you down in the game, even though it does not say it. So, um, it's super annoying. This weapon, like, I honestly hate this weapon probably the most out of this whole list. Like, I hate... This weapon, like I have a passion of hating this weapon. Like I don't know, but uh, maybe I'll kill one more person. We'll go on to number two. This is not in order as well. This is a say list, just stating all the things. But I uh, see this guy. He can't even move. He can't jump like he wants to. But uh, yeah, always people always use his primary weapons that slow you down in the game. God dang it, I don't have the guy right guys to counteract that. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this weapon. Let's get on to number two on this list. Now, the second weapon on this list is just one gun this time. This weapon is the one-shot. Now, all one-shot kill sniper rifles are pretty much used pretty much the whole time. And uh, out of all of them, this one is definitely the most used one. Now, this weapon um, is definitely the most popular sniper people use. The reason why is that this thing is pretty much a one-shot a one shot pretty much anywhere on the body. You can even hit people on the body, and uh, you'll still kill them in one single shot. And this thing is a coin weapon as well, so it's a pretty easy weapon to attain. Other than something like the anti-champion rifle, where you don't have to... Yeah, it, that weapon does cost gems, and it's hard, hard, harder to get. I don't know why these guys are not dying one-shots on the body, but uh, usually it's a one-shot to the body. It's called the one-shots for a reason. It one-shots everyone. Now, every time I go into the... If you guys go into a match, Pixel in 3D, you will not go like a single match without someone using the one-shot. This weapon is just so, so popular in the game. I don't know why, it's not the most, it's not the best one, I would say, because, you know, you have something like the anti-hero rifle slash champion rifle, which has more bullets on it, has a faster fire rate, and has wall break. I don't understand why people use this weapon over that. Like, I, I'm actually ran out of ammo with the one shot, so I'm trying to find some ammo right now, so. But, so, yeah, I always see people use this one when there's other better snipers in the game. Like, I understand that this weapon is a coin weapon in this game, but, yeah, it kind of makes sense for people to use it, but, you know... It's just a weapon I always see people using. I don't have a problem with it or anything. It's just that everyone uses it. So let's just find find some ammo. I don't know where some ammo is. All right, so I finally found some more ammo. Now I'll show you guys how good this weapon was. Is it's still a good sniper? I can see why people always use this weapon. But uh, yeah, it's it does run out of ammo more quickly than other snipers in the game. So it only has four bullets on it. But usually uh, this weapon is a one shot kill anywhere on the body, and a lot of people use it other than any other sniper weapons in this game. I'll probably get a few kills with this weapon and probably move on to the number three on this list. Also, the all of these weapons, all of these things on this list are not all weapons. Some of them are gadgets, some are weapons, you name it. See, that was a one shot body shot right there. I'll probably try to get body shots to show you guys. It's a one shot body shot. I ran out of ammo again. I had eight bullets, man. All right, whatever. But so uh, we're gonna move on to the next gun on this list, and uh, I'll see you guys when I have it ready. Now, the next type of guns on this list is homing missile weapons. Now, these weapons I have the least amount of problem with. These things are not very threatening, for me at least. But, uh, everyone, I always see everyone using the small full bazooka or the Nanobot rifle. I always see people using this weapon. Now, th these two weapons, um, they kind of lost their OP fame in this game. But, no one, almost everyone uses this weapon for the special or their heavy weapon of choice. 
everyone always use homing missile weapons. The dual cryo pistols are another weapon of, of their choice. Those things are probably the most annoying weapons on this list. Not actually, the, the uh, dual cryo pistols are probably the ones I have the most amount of trouble with. But the other two, I just don't have a problem with them. But people still use this weapon trying to win matches. Like, if you're in a dual match and you're going against someone that's actually really experienced in the game, you're not going to win with this weapon. But uh, I always see people using it. I don't see why it's a good weapon. I don't use either of these weapons at all. But, yeah, I always see people using this weapon. Like, I don't understand because it's n they're not really that great, for in my opinion. It's just my opinion. They are good weapons, but I just don't see why people always use them because they're not always going to win matches for you. But, um... I'm going to use dual crowd business because those things are always... Those things, I don't understand why you use those. But these things you can't even obtain, actually. They're right here. But, uh, yeah, these things are probably the hardest ones to get. You don't, you're only able to get them in December of 2017. But these weapons, they're the most annoying out of the three. But uh, these two are not as annoying. These are annoying. But uh, hope uh, there's only one other player. But these things do slow you down. And they have only missiles, so they're really annoying. The other, these two are not really annoying for me. These things are probably really good weapons you like to use, but all, you guys always use them. So, um, I'll try to get kills. With these two weapons here, I'll get a kill with this one on move one because there's no one here anymore. Come on. You are gonna... Never mind, he's not gonna die yet, but... So, the next two things on this list are gadgets in this game that you guys probably know are on this list already. Okay, so, you know, the dual cop buses are definitely better for killing mechs because you can actually hit them. There we go. Alright, whatever. We're gonna move on to the next gun on this list. I'll see you guys in just a second. Now, the next gadget on this list. This thing is first gadget. It's the Guardian. Uh, this thing recently got nerfed in this game, so it wasn't as annoying as it was. But since this weapon first came out, or ga when this gadget first came out, this thing was very overpowered in the game. But people still use it. But uh, it's actually a, probably the, one of the best gadgets you can get in this game right now. But since the Guardian, um, it does pretty much the work for you. Not all the work for you, but... Usually this gadget is pretty much used just to get to kill everyone, but uh, yeah, the Guardian uh, does have a cooldown and everything, but this is probably one of the only gadgets I see people use nowadays. You know, people don't use the Pandora box or something like that, something similar to that or something. They always use the Guardian for their um, second gadget slot. I don't know the name of the class, but the Guardian, it's it's a good gadget, uh, I don't think, but usually once people have gadgets, this is one of the only ones people use. But, um, it's a good one, I would say. I don't really use it myself. The only way you can actually beat the Guardian is when you use a self bracelet. Because when you use a self bracelet, the Guardian does not see you, basically. It does not attack you when you have the self bracelet on. So, I guess that's a good thing to actually counteract the Guardian. But, uh, Guardian, definitely really overused. And people should use something else, because this thing is always being used in matches. Um, I don't really have a lot of- I don't have too many problems that you can beat the Guardian in this game. So, it's not really that annoying for me to deal with, but most people actually get annoyed when people use the Guardian. Because this thing is so easy to get kills with. Not as easy as it was before, but it's still kind of easy, I would say. You just gotta always be near someone, and you'll always get kills with it. Now, it's not my... It's not uh, the weapon I have the most problems with, but people actually have a lot of problems with it. So, that's pretty much it I have to say about the Guardian. Um, let's get on to the last one on this list, and I'll see you guys there. Now, the last, last gadget on this list is the Resurrection Gadget. Pretty much, most people that are level 27 and higher usually have this gadget in the support class. I'm pretty sure it's called the support class for gadgets, but I'm not sure. Usually when you die, you resurrect, and uh, it won't res it won't um, count the kill you got. But uh, so resurrection is sem something that usually people usually have when you're level 27. This gadget is probably the one you need, like, the most out of all of them. But uh, since people always use this weapon over, not weapon, this gadget over everything else, it's kind of annoying at this point for people using it. You know, if you actually shoot someone in a really cool way, maybe I'll shoot someone right now, and they usually resurrect. And uh, it's kind of annoying, because every whenever you shoot someone in a really cool way, they resurrect. Maybe I'll shoot this guy right here, maybe, or something. But uh, usually, uh, people usually have the resurrection gadget whenever you're trying to kill someone. That's what I usually experience, because every single time I actually try killing someone, they usually have resurrection, and they resurrect it. I don't get the kill for it. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this list. I don't know what I just made on this video, but, yeah, let's just, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel. And, uh, yeah, don't really have much to say. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.